Where's Rabbit? Good dog, where's the carrot? Good dog, where's Piglet? Piglet? There's Piglet and where's Winnie the Pooh? Good job, now turn the page. Oh, she doesn't like the donkey. Where's Eeyore? She never points to him. Oh, she never did. High five, yeah, yeah. Where's his tail? Good job. Oh, where's Rabbit? There he is, where's Tigger? Where's Tigger? Oh, there he is, turn the page. Where's Owl? Hey, what's up guys? It's like Thursday afternoon. The sun is shining. It's gotta be like 30 degrees. Hello. Um, maybe, hello. hello. Fruit Lady has a wicked display today. We had some papaya from her earlier. I'm just hustling a little bit because I gotta catch up to Georgia and Jazz. They left about 15 minutes ago and I gotta catch up to them on the beach. I don't wanna jinx it. I think rainy season's done, but We'll see, we've had like five days of no rain, beautiful sun. We're hoping it's here, we're hoping it's here. We're gonna take you guys to a little area. It's like a playground, but, well, Georgia's new playground is the beach, but there's like a playground on her new playground. And we're gonna show you guys that. Let's see where they are. Georgia, Jazz, where are you? Oh, and I think I see them right now. Oh, I'm gonna hide. Okay, I think I see them. There she is. Let's go sneak up on her. High five? Yeah, yeah. But how to make her see the truth about my past? Impossible that she turn away from me. He's holding back, he's hiding. But what I can't decide, why won't he be the king I know? He is the king I see. Is Jess 
wrote to us asking, were you vegan while you were pregnant? No. Were you vegan while you were pregnant? And if so, did you have any cravings? No, I wasn't vegan when I was pregnant. Neither of us were. So we had George on Halloween and we both became vegans on in January. We're celebrating our one year. We're celebrating our one year. I was a vegetarian, but not even... Is that something to celebrate? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, okay. I was a vegetarian, but that's not even true because I eat seafood. So I asked Jazz to hold the camera because I feel like I never hold Georgia at all. And my <laughs> arm is falling is off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a four pound rig. I know. My arm literally, if it, the camera's going like this, it's because I'm shriveling up. So you had no cravings, you did? No, I, okay, so in the beginning, before we even knew I was pregnant, I was like eight months before we knew, and... <laughs> <laughs> no, but before we knew I was pregnant, I literally was crushing grapefruit, and I don't even like grapefruit. George, you want to what? Okay. Oh, she's like, I just want to relax. You just want to hang out here? But I was like crushing grapefruit in the beginning and then obviously a few weeks later we found out I was pregnant. So that was my only craving. I know your question is probably like did I crave meat? But I didn't. And fish, which I love because we are in Nicaragua, literally the smell of it, I, we didn't even have it in our fridge and I I couldn't even, pardon? It was, yeah, I couldn't even be near it. Even Sean like didn't cook it because I would be like, ugh, ugh. But um, that only lasted for a little while. And, no, and then we came home, and when we're at home, we don't really eat much seafood anyways. But um, I crushed some oysters once in a while. But other than that, no, no cravings. My appetite was really shot during my present, my pre my present. Hmm, she is a present. My appetite was really bad during my pregnancy. I find myself just like wanting, like eating because I knew I had to. But now it's like totally changed. I eat too much like I eat quadruple the amount I did when I was pregnant quadruple the amount I did before I was pregnant but man our grocery bill is so big <laughs> I eat so much now because I breastfeed so much but obviously we're gonna have more kids and I would 100% without a doubt no questions asked I'm gonna remain a vegan when I'm pregnant we had contemplated going vegan for for quite a while hey but then I was a little bit hesitant about it because I was I was gonna be or I was pregnant and then as soon as we had George, I was still hesitant about it because I was breastfeeding. So it took till January for me to finally like be like, I've done enough research and I know that you can be a healthy pregnant woman and be a vegan. So there, there it was. Jess asks, how long have you been vegan and what changes have you noticed physically and mentally? Like we said, we've been vegan for, it was one year in January. And what changes have I noticed? It's really hard, I think, for me right now to pinpoint like whether it's a vegan change or I had a baby and now I'm breastfeeding change. Like, I'm definitely, I'm a lot smaller than before, hey? Yeah. They say like when you're breastfeeding, it's like you lose a lot of weight really fast, but so I am def I'm 10 pounds lighter and have been since I've had Georgia than before I was pregnant. So whether or not that's because I, went vegan or just because I'm still breastfeeding I don't know mentally no no real changes like I feel better about the food choices that I make I hope that answers it for you Jess isn't this so nice come check this out I just got home and look what Jazz left me aren't you the best a big juicy coconut mmm mm -hmm. it's a spot Jazz and George are at the beach right now but it's kind of chilly outside I don't know what it's like back home, but it's like 23 degrees here. Whew. Just got to chill when I thought about that. But we touched on last week really quickly about visas. Where are they? Oh, passports. Passports. We keep them in here basically because it's the humidity. The, if you leave them out in the open, the mold will get at it, especially in rainy season. So we keep them sealed up. A little trick or tip for anyone traveling or staying here long term. Mmm. Sorry, this is just really good. So yeah, visas. What is a visa? How do we, how do you get one? How much do they cost? How are you able to stay here for such a long period of time? Okay, so go back to the basics. What, not, and it's not a stupid question, what is a visa? I didn't even know what that was. I remember the first trip I ever went on, the backpacking Euro trip with some buddies. Uh, one of them said, Sean, make sure you got a visa for entering the countries. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like I got a visa with Royal Bank or whatever. 
no lie, no lie, that's how rookie I was. Obviously, fast forward to now, things are much different, but a visa, basically what a visa is, is it grants you, it's, it's, a, it's a stamp or a piece of paper or a permit that uh, grants you entrance into a country. Visa requirements are completely different from country to country, from person to person, depending uh, where you're from, how long you want to stay for, what countries you're going to. And here's a little disclaimer, okay, because I, the rules are always changing for visas, so there's never one answer for everybody. Everybody will tell you a different story. I'm just going to share with you guys what we had to go through, how we got our visas, and what allows us to stay. So basically, before you come to Vietnam, you have a couple options. One, you can do a three-month multiple entry, which basically allows you to come into Vietnam for three months, but you can come and go as many times as you want within that three-month period. Or, if you know that you're not going anywhere, you want to get a little bit cheaper visa, you can get a single entry, which means you arrive into Vietnam, but you can't leave. You're not in prison or anything, but you just, if you do leave, you have to reapply and do the whole procedure again. Hello? Someone at the door. Such a small world. So we just had a couple ladies come to the door. I think it was like two. Two nights ago, there was like a, a concert going on here at the beach. <laughs> Just out front of our apartment, we ran into a, an American girl and a Canadian girl. I can't remember the Americans from, the Canadian girls from Panoka. Uh, just outside Edmonton. Anyway, we got chatting or whatever and she's here teaching and, and living, working, doing her thing. And so she used to live in these apartments before, before she moved into the city. That was just her and her friend stopped by. And they just kind of knocked on, want to say hello and like exchange contacts. It's like it's always good expat community. It's like when you meet someone from your home country or hometown, it's like an instant friendship. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Anyway, small world, random story. Back on track. Visas, I don't even know where I left off. So for a three month visa on arrival, which is what we did, it's $55 a person, US, to apply for that. But because we were a family, it brought our price down a little bit per person. I think it was like 47 by the end of it. All we had to do was sit online one afternoon. I filled in a quick application, uh, sent it in. Within two working days, I had an approval letter sent to us with all our names on it saying, welcome to Vietnam, yada, yada, a bunch of Vietnamese writing. So we had to print that out along with get a couple passport photos. Just a little tip, make sure that when you do leave your house back home, uh, that you do bring your approval letter and your passport photos. I don't know, some families out there forget those things on their way to the airport. Crazy, I know, but. Well, we realized we're checking in that we didn't have our passport photos. We left them back at the house. So then when you get, you fly into Vietnam, you go into the immigration line, it says VOA, Boom, $50 US fee for stamping. That's your visa, your entrance visa on arrival. We are now in Vietnam for three months. We'll fast forward to now, we had to sort out what we wanted to do with our visas because we're coming to the three month mark. Uh, do we extend, do we renew, do we go somewhere else to another country? Because we set up shop in Da Nang, we, we really like it here. Um, we wanted to settle here, so we opted to extend our visa. So you have three options with this. A, you can do a border run, which is what a lot of travelers do or expats do, and you hear about it all the time. Anyone that's lived in a country for a long period of time, you just have to cross a border, a neighboring country, Cambodia, Laos, um, by bus, car, whatever you do. You literally walk across immigration, walk back, stamp on your way back home. That was going to take us six hours drive there, six hours back, and about $100 US to do, which would have just given us a whole new visa again. It's basically reapplying for a new visa. We didn't want that option or we were trying to entertain other options because that was 12 hours total in one day on a bus with Georgia and we're like, no way. So <clears throat> next option you can do is just fly. You can fly to a neighboring country, which is really awesome when you're in Southeast Asia because it's super cheap, dirt cheap to go anywhere. Most of the time, except for our time, we were around Christmas because our visas ran out January 3rd. So we were Christmas. It's like there's in Southeast Asia, there's slow season, peak season, and then you got peak peak, which is like a two week period over Christmas and New Year's, which is just like outrageous prices. So to fly anywhere, Thailand, like to go to Bangkok is like 60 bucks return. During Christmas it was like 250. So we're like 250 per person plus the cost of the visas. Now we're getting costly. That's a big Christmas gift. No thanks. Option three is you can find a travel agent or a tour agent or visa agent in the city. You give them your, your passport and they take it to an immigration spot, they have it stamped and bring it back for you. So they have it for like about a week 
and then you come back with a whole new three month stamp. So you pay a little bit more than you would for doing it yourself in a bus, but a little bit less than flying. So that was the option we chose, basically paying for convenience because we didn't want to do that bus ride. And that was it. That gave us an extension to March 28th. So that's where we stand now. I just wanted to tell you guys what we did in case anyone was coming out here at some point and, and uh, wanted some information on it. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go meet the gals at the beach. And I'm sorry for those of you who are never planning to come here and just wasted five minutes of your day. But anyway, we love you guys and we'll see you next Monday. Where's the moon? Where's the moon? Oh, there's the moon. Can you say moon? Yeah. Good job. Can you say moon? Yeah. Moon, good job! Where's your jackfruit? Let me, there's your jackfruit. Can you say jackfruit? Yeah. Yeah.